In this video, we're going over how to complete all of the Week 10 challenges in Fortnite Season 9. Now, there are a lot of very interesting challenges, without a doubt, and you'll need my help on quite a few of them. So, make sure you watch this video until the very end, so you can learn how to complete all of these challenges as fast as possible. And of course, if you're excited for these challenges, make sure to like the video and subscribe with post notifications on. All you gotta do is push the button in the bottom right corner of the video. I post helpful videos like this several times a week, so make sure to subscribe so you never miss another upload. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to use code STORMS in the Fortnite item shop that is with the S at the end. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get right into the challenges. So once again, on screen now, you can see what all of the challenges are. Since this video is pre-recorded, keep in mind, there is a very tiny chance that one or two of these challenges may change. Credit to Yoshi on Twitter for leaking these challenges and creating this clean graphic of the challenges. Anyways, feel free to pause the video right now in case you want to look over all of the Week 10 challenges. I will have timestamps to what part of the video I go over each and every one of these challenges in the description. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on what challenges you think are the hardest and which challenges you think are the easiest. I will be trying my best to respond to every single one of your comments, no matter what they are about. Now, the first of these challenges requires you to use an airstrike in three different matches. And if you look at this challenge, you'll be rewarded by Battle Pass Stars. Now, in case you were wondering what the airstrike is, it appears that the airstrike is a brand new item that is coming up Fortnite. At the time of making this video, this item hasn't yet been released, but chances are by the time you're watching this video, this item is released. Anyways, this airstrike item is a throwable item that you can find in a game. My best recommendation is to focus on completing your other challenges, and then whenever you run into an airstrike, simply use that item. Since it will take you several matches in order to complete your other challenges, chances are by the time you've completed all of your other challenges, you would have completed this challenge too, as long as you're using airstrikes every time you find them. Anyways, this challenge is very easy. As long as you do this, you shouldn't have too much trouble at all completing this challenge, and should be able to get yourself a bonus 5 Battle Pass Stars. Now the second challenge is to deal 500 damage to opponents with shotguns, and once again, if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded by Battle Pass Stars. Now this challenge is very easy. All you gotta do is go into a game of Team Rumble, and then spend the first few minutes of the game looking for a shotgun. Once you finally find a shotgun, you can spend the rest of the game trying to deal 500 damage to opponents with shotguns. It should be very easy to deal 500 damage to opponents because you and your opponents can respawn. You do not need to worry about losing your shotgun once you finally found one, and killing opponents should be made a lot easier because if you fail, you can always respawn. 500 damage isn't too much, so you should easily be able to deal 500 damage within a single game of Team Rumble. Also, one more thing I recommend to complete this challenge while completing other challenges are part of this week, meaning you don't go into a game of Team Rumble, just complete this challenge. Challenge, you can complete this challenge along with several other challenges from this week in the same match. Anyways, this challenge is very straightforward. As long as you do this, you should easily be able to complete this challenge. And the third challenge is to search seven ammo boxes in a single match. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10 Battle Pass Stars. Now, once again, of course, you need to go into Team Rumble, because in Team Rumble you can respawn, so you do not need to worry about dying while searching for 7 ammo boxes. In a game of Team Rumble, just land at a name location that is on your side of the map. And if you can, make sure that the name location is not near the Storm Circle. That way, you won't have any opponents going there. Then, simply search for ammo boxes. I recommend that you land a big location, like Pleasant Park, somewhere where you know there'll be a lot of ammo boxes. And in terms of where to look for ammo boxes, you can look for ammo boxes in houses. They're commonly found under stairs and behind beds. Anyways, this challenge is very easy to complete. As long as you follow my advice, you should easily be able to complete this challenge and get yourself a bonus 10 Battle Pass Stars. And the fourth challenge is to visit five different public service announcement signs in Neo Tilted, Pressure Plant, or Mega Mole. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded five Battle Pass Stars. So all this challenge wants you to do is visit these signs you can see on screen now. This is what public service announcement sign looks like. These signs can be found over at Neo Tilted, Pressure Plant, or Mega Ball. All you gotta do is visit five of these signs. On screen now you can see a few locations of these signs. As long as you visit five of these locations, you will easily be able to complete this challenge. Anyways, this challenge is very straightforward. As long as you visit these locations, you should easily be able to get yourself a bonus by Battle Pass Stars. Now the fifth challenge is the multiple stage challenge. The first stage requires a player to collect 100 wood from a pirate ship or viking ship. The second stage requires the player to collect 100 stone from a fork knife or umbrella. And the third stage requires the player to collect 100 metal from a robot factory. And if you're looking at this challenge, you'll be rewarded a total of five Battle Pass Stars, two Battle Pass Stars for the first two stages, and one Battle Pass Star for the third stage. So for this challenge, I'll be going over each stage of this challenge individually because you must visit a wide variety of different locations and collect materials from them. So for the first stage, it requires you to collect wood from a pirate ship or a viking ship. The pirate ship that this challenge is referring to is a pirate ship that can be found over at Lazy Lagoon. On screen now you can see what it looks like, and the viking ship is referring to the 
Viking ship that is found at Viking Mountain. Now, the second stage requires you to collect stone from a fork knife or umbrella. And this challenge is referring to the mines that can be found around the map over near Fatal Fields and the block. On screen now you can see where the fork knife is located and what it looks like, and now on screen you can see where the umbrella is located and what it looks like. All you gotta do is visit these two mines and then collect stone from these mines. Now, the third and final stage requires the player to collect metal from a robot factory. Now, as far as I'm aware, this challenge is referring to the robot factory that can be found over at the pressure plant. On screen now you can see what it looks like and you can see how they're building a robot. All Stones wants you to do is go over and land at this location and collect 100 metal from this factory. Anyways, this challenge is very straightforward. As long as you follow my advice, you should easily be able to complete this challenge and get yourself a bonus 5 Battle Pass stars. Now the 6th challenge requires you to eliminate 3 opponents in Pleasant Park or Paradise Palms. And if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded 10 Battle Pass Stars. Now this challenge is very easy. My best recommendation is land at these locations in the early game when there will be a lot of opponents going there. Now the two main ways to know that there will likely be a lot of opponents going to those locations is if the location is a hotspot, meaning their name is yellow, or if the Battle Pass flies directly over the location. If either one of these locations is either one of these two things, then you should go ahead and land at the location that is either one of those two things. That way, there'll be a lot of opponents going to that location. Now the reason why I recommend you land opponents when there are a lot of opponents going there in the early game is because there are often not too many opponents in the mid and the late game. However, you can guarantee for there to be at least three opponents in the early game if the location is either hotspot or the battle bus flies directly over that location. Also, in the early game, it's a lot easier to kill opponents if you're not skilled at the game. Because in the early game, players often don't have the best weapons and don't have mats. So because of that, as I always say, a really good player could get really unlucky and find a really bad gun or no gun at all, while a really bad player could get really lucky and find a good gun. Because of that, the bad player will have the advantage in the fight even though they're not very good at the game. So because of that, I definitely recommend if you land these locations in the early game when they are hot drop, because no matter what your skill level is, if you land these locations when they are hot drops, you should eventually be able to get a total of three eliminations. Anyways, as long as you follow my advice, this challenge shouldn't be too difficult at all, and you should easily be able to get yourself a bonus 10 battle pass stars. Now, the seventh and final challenge is to deal 200 damage to opponents with a pickaxe, and if you're able to complete this challenge, you'll be rewarded a total of 5 Battle Pass Stars. Now there's two different ways you can complete this challenge. The first way is by going into a game of Team Rumble, then whenever you die and then respawn in Team Rumble, glide right next to an opponent and see if you can get one or two hits off them with your pickaxe before they kill you. The second thing you can do is go into a game of solos, then land directly near an opponent who's nowhere near a weapon in the early game. Then get into a pickaxe battle with them, where you should likely get 3-4 to four hits with them before you die or you kill them and have very few health left. You will need to do this 2 or 3 times in order to complete this challenge. Personally, I I recommend that you go into a game of Team Rumble and try and complete this challenge in a game of Team Rumble. However, I just recommend that you do whatever you feel more comfortable with. Anyways, as long as you do either one of those methods, you should easily be able to complete the challenge and get yourself a bonus 5 Battle Pass Stars. Now anyways, that has been how to complete all of the Week 10 challenges in Fortnite Season 9. Now keep in mind, since I'm only human and I'm not perfect, it is possible, though not probable, that there are a few mistakes in this video. So because of that, if I encounter any additional information or anything I should update you guys on after publishing this video, I will be updating you all in the pinned comment of this video. And of course, if my pinned comment wasn't able to answer all of your questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section down below. I'll be trying my best to get back to each and every one of your comments. Anyways, this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form. I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All you gotta do is push that button in the bottom right corner of the video. I post helpful videos like this teaching you how to complete challenges and other things regarding Fortnite several times a week. So make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. And last but not least, if you want to support the channel one step further, make sure you use code STORMS in the Fortnite M shop. That way you'd be supporting the channel every single time you make a purchase in the Fortnite M shop. Anyways, with all that being said, that has been how to complete all of the Week 10 challenges in Fortnite Season 9. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!